Okay, Statue Hunter 75 here. I'm going to do a really quick review because I want to get this guy out of the way and review the one-third scale Evil Ryu that showed up today. Uh, but Statue Hunter 75 here with uh, Street Fighter V Ken quarter scale collectible statue and an Satsuken exclusive. It's the, this is the certificate of authenticity that it comes with. Of course, uh, you got Jerry Macaluso's autograph. He's the president and founder of PCS, Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. Um, he's since uh, become like creative director, and I believe he sold kind of the company to uh, Anthony uh, and uh, another gentleman, I believe. Um, so sorry for forgetting the names right now, but I don't have the info right in front of me. But this is number 57 of 300. And uh, they're all, by the way, they're all doing a great job. Not that Jerry didn't do a great job. Everyone did a great job. But it's just better for him to concentrate on creative um, development now. So everything's coming out amazing. Uh, it always has. I've always been a big fan, as everyone knows. See at the bottom of the certificate here, PCS Collectibles logo. Or the newer logo, I guess. And Capcom. And this is the, you know, the red Costume. It comes with, uh, you know, in a bag. I put it in this protective case like I do for all my PCS statues. Um, <clears throat> also, it always comes with their trademark white gloves. So you don't have to handle the statue with your bare, oily skin. But, I mean, I always wash my hands and keep myself clean before handling the statues. That was not in my hand. Um, so here he is. He has his, uh, you know, I've already reviewed the pink one. And this is the... Uh, they went, I don't know if the camera is making it worse than it is, but I mean, it is pretty gold, like pretty yellow with the hair. I mean, I know Ken is blonde, but for the uh, the red version, that would be maybe my only gripe. I mean, I, I haven't played Street Fighter Five recently, so maybe it is pretty yellow for the red costume version, and maybe it's dead on, but it just seems really yellow, <laughs> like more than normal, like... I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about, just as a side-by-side. -side. Let me stand up his head, maybe I can do that without breaking or damaging him. Uh, it won't exactly stand carefully. But I will show you what I mean, because I have the pink exclusive, which I love. Got it for my daughter. And you can see his hair looks more realistically blonde on the pink exclusive. I think they should have went with the same hair color, but... Like I said, maybe in the game it is rather gold on that version, on the red, you know, traditional red player one. So maybe my gripe is unfounded. Um, I'm sure all of my fellow Street Fighter fans will uh, correct me or either agree with me. Uh, maybe, um, but you do see it is much bolder and yellow. I mean, I, li I, I like the blonde on the, uh, on the pink version better. It's just uh, me. But back to the statue review here. I'll give you a side-by-side. -side. I always display them with a smirking face. I like it better. But just to show you a quick little side-by-side -side review of the two different types of heads. I mean, great job on both heads. The detail is beautiful. Great paintwork with the new factory. You see the elastic in his hair, nice detail, and the eyes, and the like the eye line, like the color of his, like, eyes. They're very realistic, very good paint application. They're, they're, they're doing great work at this, uh, this factory. Like I said, I will display them with that head. I love the smirking, cocky head with the, you know, come here, kind of get over here type. That's traditional Ken. Um, the, the original, the OG Ken uh, statue from Jerry was uh, the same thing. But I, 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 I love the Street Fighter V costumes. I, I like this a lot better. You know, kind of like with like an Under Armour shirt on. Almost under the gi that he has like draped over his waist. But very nice work on everything on the... Let me get the uh, certificate out of the way. Very nice work with the toenails, the paint application, you know, very realistic looking. The pores in the skin. You can see, you know, I love the traditional black base. The new thing for the Street Fighter V statues, they got a little glyphics kind of on the edge. But still, it's pretty, pretty, pretty plain and black, which is great because, like, it doesn't take away from the, the statue itself. 
just a great musculature sculpt um the hand looks great it just looks great it is ken to a t i thoroughly reviewed the pink one so i don't really want to waste much time on this one because there's not much to talk about i mean it's fabric here fabric here fabric there and the rest is polystone sculpt polyresin um I'm trying to remember yeah there is a magnet a very strong magnet at that arm and there's another magnet at this arm right here and his hand you know rests on the hip let's get you a little detail if we can get some focus if i can bring the camera into focus there we go very nice work on the gloves and the veins and the muscles just a great sculpt as always from pop culture shock they do a very good half you know realistic looking sculpt half cartoon looking i mean it looks just like the characters in the game i think at least they do a great job of uh giving a 3d rendition of the street fighter character that's why i love pop culture shock collectibles i'm a huge street fighter fan have been all my life and they do just such a great interpretation bringing it to life in a statue form in front of you but anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the quick review. Uh, like I said, mine was number uh, 57 out of 300. And this is the Street Fighter V Ken quarter scale collectible statue and Satsuken exclusive. All right, guys. Have a good rest of your weekend.